Hey guys, you've probably noticed that the new uh, discount section on Shopify arrived and uh, with automatic discount we receive every week a list of use case and questions and you know that we try to order and classify, um, organize uh, and, and do it uh, and improve the app and the new discounts, well what it does, it, it, it empowers a lot or app and it allows you guys to to create super powerful promotions and add more restrictions uh, to make sure that uh, the customer qualify to 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 get the discounts for for example I'll create a discount uh, that is called discount code test and <clears throat> I'm gonna give now a five dollar discount if you buy for 50 bucks and now what you can do is that you can select collections or products. So I could say that my discount is only on a good whole, uh, let's say, black t-shirt. And you can check, well, like usual, to only apply once per order. Or you could also... Uh, apply to each of the t-shirt that I add to cart so for example it will be five bucks per t-shirt but this didn't change uh, if I go to a percentage then this disappear because five percent of uh, of the total cart or five percent per t-shirt is the same so I'm gonna give well, let's say ten percent gonna go, now we can uh, in addition to all this you can select some customer group to 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 apply the discount and to restrict and of course you can limit one per user you can also limit the number of times that the discount can be used I think this was uh, like like that before since 2007 actually and you can uh, put a start date and a end date so I'm gonna keep it simple but just so you guys know uh, and you probably saw some other uh, videos explaining this uh, but if you combine it with automatic discount uh, you can make this a lot more powerful and you can automatically apply the discount which is the beauty of the app so right now I'm gonna stick to something simple but keep in mind that no matter the use case you have uh, it could be like a discount only for people in Canada uh, for free shipping and 20% off on a collection of products if some item are in the cart so you can do it um, we, we, by combining the new discounts and the automatic discount app and we're gonna do uh, make some some other uh, use case videos uh, to cover uh, this spreadsheet that uh, we have that is pretty <laughs> huge so right now I'm gonna just save this discount I'm gonna go inside the app and what is cool now is that you see uh, a summary of what is the discount so it's more visual than it used to be and by the way if you don't have the app visit the app store download it you can also test the ultimate ultimate upsell app which is the other app that we built at Tabarnap so I'm opening the app and what I want to do is uh, not only I want to have a 10% discount uh, if you buy 50 bucks but I also want to restrict that you buy at least two of this same item so I'm gonna delete the test that I made I'm gonna make sure that I copy paste exactly this and I want you to buy at least two let's say at least three of this t-shirt so to summarize to recap if you buy three or more of this particular product which is the black t-shirt and or I mean I, I you not not or but you need to spend at least 50 bucks you get a 10% off uh, in other videos I'll show you how to do it like another level which is like going further and restricting by some type of customers based on your customer groups um, so you can do like almost a membership website just with that and with no other additional app of course if you restrict some collections or products this is another story but you can also create other rules and what is good is you can uh, restrict another layer by product type and by vendor to trigger the discount so for example 
you could make like if you have product A in the cart, then trigger the discount because product A would be product type. Uh, well, I'll call it product A, but and then I would s click add. But let's say the product type is a T-shirt for woman. Uh, so if you have a T-shirt for woman in the cart, it could be. I mean, this product type could be on multiple products on all the collection or only to a single product. And we use the product type when to do the pro if product A, then you get product B for free or if product A and B, then you get product C for 30 percent off or whatever. But um, we use the feature, which is the product type when you go in product uh, and you and you specify just to know if we trigger or not automatically the discount. And here you have other restrictions that say, well, do you want to automatically uh, trigger the discount if other products are in the cart or only if the product A is in the cart? So right now I won't do it. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple so I can just hide this. And uh, to prove that I'm not cheating, I'm going to go in incognito mode. So this way it's not like the the TV shows when they they cook the recipe before and they show you the after <laughs> while they're cooking it I'm gonna do it live so just for me to remember and for you I need to buy three or more t-shirts which equal at least 50 bucks and I need to um, yeah so that's pretty much it so if I purchase two, nothing should happen because it's 40 bucks and it's only two. If I buy three, then I get the pop up. Congrats, you get this discount. And when you go to checkout, you see that you get a discount that apply. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can test it by yourself and see how it goes. And I, 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 I ask you guys to share your use case so we can do more videos and we can have more ideas on how uh, we can uh, improve this automatic discount app in uh, complement to the new discount section on Shopify.